To live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. You have to be mad through different phases, like mazes, to find your way. When it seems like the whole world has turned their backs on us, holding onto your faith can feel like a burning coal in your hands. In these hard and the most difficult times, remember the promise of Allah. Verily, those who say, Our Lord is Allah, and then they stand firm on them, the angels will descend at the time of their death. Fear not, nor grieve, but receive the glad tidings of paradise which you have been promised. My dear sisters and brothers, we know it's really hard time for us, but Allah is with us no matter what the sacrifices is, since there is no way out of pain at all. In some circumstances, Allah Almighty consoled the one who chose a small, interrupted pain over a great continuous one by saying, Whoever hopes to meet Allah, indeed, Allah's term is coming. So he set a term for the duration of this pain that must come to an end, which is the day of his meeting. And the servant will enjoy the greatest pleasure in what he has endured in this life for some moments. From pain for his sake and for his pleasure and his pleasure only. Pleasure and joy will be in proportion to the amount of pain that he endured in this testing ground for Allah. Remember, my sisters and brothers, there's something amazing Allah says to us in the Quran, which is a great relief when hearing in times of difficulty, suffering and facing tragedy after tragedy. They plan and Allah plans. Allah knows what lies in their hearts, and he's the best of planners. Keep the faith and never lose hope. Allah knows best and he will never forsake you. Don't lose hope nor be sad, Allah has your back. Allah is sufficient for us and He is the best disposer of all affairs. Let your faith be greater than your fear. We must read these verses with full convection and obedience. And Allah never fail in what He says to us. You know. Allah Almighty is the creator of everything which exists and is most definitely the great planner until the very end of this world and in the hereafter. It is the obvious victory to the believers and severe punishment and warning to the oppressor. The scholars say in regards to the prophets of Allah and how we understand the way that Allah give incredible victory to the prophets over their enemies, that the plotting of their enemies turn out to be against them. The very things that they did to harm actually come back to haunt them. This is the law of Allah from the very beginning. We need to understand this. Allah will not only punish him in this life, but in the hereafter as well. This punishment is nothing but a drop in the ocean, and when Allah commands the angels to drag hellfire into view, on the day of judgment every last drop of blood will drain from the ugly faces of each and every oppressor. They will regret everything, but regret will be useless then. And some faces that day will be dark, gloomy, realizing that a crushing calamity is about to strike them. I want you to understand and picture this in your mind, my sisters and brothers, is you are watching what is happening and unfolding in Palestine right now, is that every single plot against the believers in Palestine has actually come back to be in favor of the people in Palestine, and the Ummah of the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him. Their plans will actually backfire them by the will of Allah. It is not because of us. Everyone knows what we're doing right now. We do our part. We try our level best, but it's not because of us. It's because of the one above us. Our Lord Allah, he's watching the very minute things happening to us. You shows your saber, you focus on your taqwa. You focus on your glorification of Allah. You focus on your planning, but knows that Allah's plans are greater. He plans for the believers and he will never fail and forsake us. As he says to us, Soon you will remember what I am saying to you, and I entrust my matter with Allah. Surely, Allah sees every affairs of the servants. May Allah help our sisters and brothers in Palestine. May Allah have mercy on our brothers and sisters in Palestine. May Allah foils the plans and the plots and the scheming of those who seek to harm them. May Allah grant Palestinians freedom from oppression and grant them miraculous victory over the oppressor.